The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. I'm gonna turn a box today that's in the shape of a rock. I saw some pictures on Facebook. Um, a guy named Lin, he's from Taiwan. He doesn't do videos or anything, but I saw some pictures of these boxes he turned and they're just incredible, so I thought I would give one a try. I'll put a link down below to his uh, Facebook page, but I don't think he has a website or anything, but I'll put a link to his, to his page so you can go check out some of his stuff. It's just, he does beautiful work. So I'm gonna do that today. I was going to make a whirly gig, but I can't get it to work. I'll show you. Maybe you guys can help me out. I just, it won't work. I'll show you. Let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so here's what I have. I was gonna do a water droplet. So this was water. These would come up, up and down and, you know, like a wave. Uh, this was the gonna be the plate underneath it. And here was my, you know, what would hook to the propeller with these little cams. And it does raise and lower, but it's not smooth, and it's, I don't know, it, they, you know, tip a little bit, and it doesn't, doesn't look good. So, if anybody has any suggestions, I tried to make these tight, but they, there's, there's no, like, happy medium in there to where it's, it's smooth. And if they're too tight, they don't, don't run smooth, but the little cams were going to raise and lower everything, and I haven't, didn't make the, cam for the ball yet. It was going to be a little bit bigger so that it, it came up higher than the rest of them and came down on it. But if anybody has any suggestions on a way to make it make it run smooth, uh, I would appreciate it. Anyway, let's turn a box. All right, I just have a little piece of maple here and I'm going to turn this for the lid. And I'm just going to use walnut on, on this first one. I haven't made one of these yet, so I want to use walnut. It's soft and easy to shape. Okay, so I have it, so it just fits in there. It's a little bit, little bit tight, but with sanding, it'll loosen it up, and then that way you can get the, get it out of there. All right, I'm just gonna hollow it out. And I'm actually not gonna hollow it out too far because I'm gonna bring these corners down quite a bit and, and give it a, a rock shape. But I'm gonna hollow it out a little bit in there. All right, now I'm just gonna take the DA and shape it, give it a little rock shape.
Alright, I'm on my last couple of coats, and actually if your shape's not too distorted, you can turn the lathe speed down, and it actually, your hand will come around and, and sand these areas while the, while the lathe's spinning. Um, Lynn did a little, a little button on some of his lids that I saw, and I wasn't quite sure why he did it until I made one. Um, he did it to line it up, because this is, is curved to the shape of the, the piece, it only goes in one way. It's the lid is thinner on this side than it is over here, so that's why why he did it, I believe. But it, it looks nice too, but I didn't didn't think about that. So anyway, so I'm gonna just do the last couple of coats. I'm gonna put some oil on it. I'm going to turn it around and clean up the bottom. All right, there we go. I'll put some pictures up at the end, but I think it came out good. A couple little things. Lynn, like I said before, he does a little dowel there so that it lines up, which is a really good idea. And I think on the next one, I'll actually just recess it down in the top a little bit and flip it around so that I can make it more like a rock shape instead of being so flat on the bottom like, like that one is. Um, but just fun, and I use the walnut too. I think I mentioned that it just it's it's pretty soft wood, so it's it's easy to shape it. You know, just a sander, but you could also use uh, orbital sander or something to to kind of give it the shape, and then then put it back on the lathe. But there we go. All right, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.